Hey guys, welcome to God Williams Retouch once again. Today I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through a walkthrough of this image I created a long time and I will say I, rec I created because the, light, the, the original lighting and everything for this image was completely different, it was completely opposite, it was nothing like this. So I can use the word created instead of retouched. And I'm gonna walk through a step by step. I'm gonna give you a step by step of how I created this image. And this was the original. And this is the final image. A huge, huge difference. Um for this image I had to use two PSDs because actually this this was my final image at one point. This was considered my final image and a couple months afterwards I thought you know what this image has so much potential I want to take it further and I want to make it better and then I came up with this as my final image which was basically a lot more detailing basically that's all I did. It's screen, it's screen. As you can see, not just a lot of details was done on this second part, and this one was a lot more of more of the drama took place. Um, this here is actually the original image that I worked with, and I think the crop did so much for it. The crop was just perfect. Um, yeah, so let's begin. Okay, wait, before I begin, I just want to ask one simple, one small favor, and that is to like my Facebook page, you will see it in the description box, or and like my video, subscribe, and share. I really would appreciate it a lot. It will help a lot of people, and I'm just offering, offering these videos for no real benefit other than whatever Google has to offer um yeah so this was the original image here and I'd like to start by showing you well this was what I used to get a hand to look this is the work on vision I used for a hand because as you can see before her hand was all blown out so I had to bring back the details in her hand. So this was the work conversion I used for her hand and then I as you can see I masked in her hand. So that was what I did for her hand and her eyes I just brought in a little bit of detail. A little bit of brightness sorry. A little bit of brightness for her eyes and this was my working file. So first off I started with the usual cleanup of her of the background and all the big pimples and then I clean up this highlight right here on the ring and also I made here completely black this area beneath the chin and her arms it ended up getting cropped out at the end so it didn't really matter um, and here I did basically to clean up the ring I, did, I made a lot of gradients and I kind of tried to match the original light with some gradients and I added some noise and that was all I did for the ring <coughs> so yeah that was basically my first step and obviously I made some healing I did some healing on the skin and global healing of all the noticeable issues and that was it then I created a split and in the split I also did a lot some more healing I think I believe I did heal but basically what the purpose of the split was to blur between the split and smooth out some of the transitions of the skin as you can see And I masked it in certain areas. This is the mask. 
not over the entire skin obviously so after I did this split it was time to start dodging and burning um, and so I did this was what my this was my first layer of dodging and burning just some global changes nothing too dramatic actually uh, very dramatic this was my first layer I enhanced the shadows and I increased the highlights as well and I removed the basically the sink in of his right here the shadow in of his it's not exactly a shadow it's more of a mid tone or something but it's just to signify that there's a crease in of his right here so I kind of removed that and eventually I did add it back but not as it originally was and not as deep as it was and here I created a lot more contrast from dodging and burning as well and this is the this is the layer a lot of detailing as well in the dodging and burning on the lips as you can see there's some distinct lines you know to point out edges and the lines is basically to not have any curves most of I wanted everything to be more straight like as you can see there's a straight line going here and the highlights on the nose are completely straight you know the edge of her face here is very straight lip line is straight I didn't want any curls so that's why I kind of had so that's why there's so many distinct lines in this dodging and burn this dodge and burn layer so that was that and here I create I did some color changes to her eye I made it more green I believe um I increased the saturation and I changed the hue I made it more green I added change the hue as well um here I did some really I was just experimenting with the color a bit yeah, I added some reds and some yellows, even though the layer said red, but I can I can see there was some yes. I added some yellows as well. And I added some saturation, which eventually I took away. But for whatever reason I was just experimenting a bit. And I added some saturation, and then I added some contrast. Some dramatic contrast. And the contrast why I added this contrast obviously doesn't look right. But I believe when I added the contrast, my health layer was on, and this is what I saw. This is originally what I saw, and I was like, wow, this contrast looks really high key, and that is what I wanted. Even though I thought I already had this high key look without the contrast, but with the contrast, it just made everything so much more. So I added the contrast and I left it. I reduced the opacity obviously to 38% and the contrast I believe was really intense. And I reduced opacity, okay. And this is what it looked like. And I was like, no, all this color is not working. And here I just reduced the saturation in the shadows. As you can see, saturation was reduced on the edges of the shadows as well. those areas I should have reduced it here as well on the fingertips and here on the fin fingertips okay so that was what I did and then I added some magentas to the, to the overall image then created a gradient map and covered the entire image with it more or less kept her fingers I had to reduce the opacity on her fingers because some of her fingers are supposed to be a little redder than the skin so then I did some minor healing you know I should have done a lot more here that was all I did um saturation I reduced some sat I added some saturation to her entire lip area 
added some reds and some yellows because the lips were kind of desaturated looking so I wanted the lips to pop a little bit more with the color and then I desaturated the overall image the entire image I reduced this entire global saturation and that and dodge and burn a little bit then I added some color right here on her cheekbones the dodge and burning was more or less done on a blank layer this was considered to be my pixel work and I thought I was done but obviously three months later I realized I wasn't done so that was my changes and then I cropped it dodge and burn some more added a black and white layer set the luminosity and then adjusted it as you can see this is what happens when you adjust a black and white layer set the luminosity um, so yeah after I adjusted it a little bit nothing major that was it I thought this okay this is my final image I am done and three months later I was like you know what I really like this image it has a lot of potential it looks very high key it looks like it could be in a magazine more so for the eye makeup and so I decided to take it further and this is the way I took it over to this PSD and here was and here is the image that I just retouched and I was like you know what it needs some more retouching and to that I, I decided to do some more pixel pixel level healing a more zoomed in healing in the texture of it a lot of dots all over the place it was really disturbing wasn't anything I could post see a lot of issues was left over because I really on the last image I mean like three months before I really didn't focus much on the details I did more global work as you can clearly see so yeah, after I did all that healing, I did some pixel level dodging and burning, as you can see it's a lot of zoomed in dodging and burning, a lot of small changes, and it had quite an impact on the image. Then, well this is a very minor change, it's not very noticeable, but as you can see around her finger here. I had an issue so I had to add some color back there and then I did more healing around her lips healing around her lips some on her eyes on her makeup then some more pixel level work around her fingertips as you can see there seems to be an issue with her fingers the lines of her fingers the edges of her fingers seem to be have like double lines and I believe it's from using the pen tool to do to do something maybe to create my mask so for some reason there's like double lines on her fingers and I had to dodge and burn it away. Then I liquefied her fingers right here. Then I did some healing around her ears. Um dodge and burn around her ears as well. Then I healed away. Heal away her eyelids, her, sorry, eyelash, because there seem to be only like this bit of eyelash going on and nowhere else has eyelashes so I just took it all away. And then these tears here, I just made it a bit even, more even, that was my objective at that point. Then I clean up eye brows kind of drew over them, drew over them, as you can see, drew over the 
one that call your eyes then I do some pixel level dodging and burning around her eye makeup then that was my, then liquefied again and that was my final image right here and that was really it before after before after original after original quite a dramatic change and having a look at this PSD would be very beneficial to you guys so you can really see all the details etc and unfortunately I'm unable to provide this PSD free of charge if anybody would like to view the PSD you can message me on Facebook message me on my Facebook page or contact me via email which is available on my Facebook page my Facebook page link would be available in the description of this video you can view the PSDs for this tutorial at a small small fee it's just $15 but I'm sure it would go a very long way I promise you it would go a very long way if you use this these techniques in some of your retouching endeavors um so that's about it for now be sure to like the video share the video subscribe to my channel um and purchase the psd which will be um available to you directly from me personally hand it over to you at a small fee payable via paypal um i have recently reached 500 subscribers and i'd like to thank you guys for the support and this is the reason why i have created this video today i think i just crossed it a little bit create cross 500 but that was the purpose that i created the video actually um stay tuned for more videos i would like to do some on fashion some fashion walkthroughs some Im images i do if you guys have any requests be sure to ask me on my facebook page leave a message leave a comment something i would read everything i do get all my messages my email is the best way to contact me my email is available on my facebook page please no spamming me thank you um i hope you guys really enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more and thanks again bye